Hey guys, no fear frog deer here. And uh, when I was going through my uh, teams and stuff on Showdown, I happened to see that there was a section called Spoopy Party. Now, me being someone who loves Halloween, I thought, ooh, Spoopy. I like Spoopy. I like Spoopy a lot. So, I wanted to give it a shot. Well, turns out, you don't have to make your own team for it. It's just a random battle. Um, and I guess the thing that makes it spoopy is that every Pokemon on every team has the move Trick or Treat. Which, if you guys are unfamiliar with the move Trick or Treat, it's basically just a random attack. Um, it'll do a bunch of made-up stuff. Like, there have been a couple times where I got... Uh, an attack out of it called Toilet Paper Missile. Um, there was one that was called, like, Super Duper Hyper Mega Destroyer of Worlds Beam or something like that. Um, there was one time where, uh, I think it's actually in this video, where I got healed uh, when someone used it on me. So really, it's just a random attack. Well, without further ado, Let's just get into this here. So, my opponent's first Pokemon was a Garbodor, and I got a Joltik. You don't get to choose which Pokemon comes out first, either. You just get one. So that was mine that came out. He got lucky enough to have a, a set of upper. I used a uh, Hidden Power... I think he had Hidden Power Fire? I'm not 100% sure which one that was. Um, trick or Treat. Ultimate Super Hyper Mega Awesome Beam Destroyer of Worlds. That that killed him. I got him good with that one. That was just ridiculous. I don't know why that's a thing, but it is. Ultimate Super Hyper Mega Awesome Beam Destroyer of Worlds. That's just beautiful. I love it. Alright, so he sends out Ekans. I guess I have to recharge, uh, which is fine. You know, it doesn't matter to me. Um... Man, well, this is a really weird battle. It really was weird. So, I am confused at the moment, obviously. Confused, burned, he's paralyzed and confused. Basically, there are just a lot of status conditions in this all together. It's ridiculous. Well, as to who my next Pokemon is that you're about to see, it's... John Cena! Don't know why that happened, but I got a Machamp named John Cena. So, hopefully John Cena can hold up his title this year at WWE. I totally just pulled that out of my ass. Anyway, I don't watch WWE. I used to when I was like 12, but yeah. Being in college, I don't really have time for anything other than Pokemon these days. And studying, of course, if any of my professors are watching this. Okay, so, John Cena still has full health. He's paralyzed and confused now, but so is my opponent, and that's all that matters. Um, his confusion ended, but there is just, there is just some ridiculousness here going on. I don't know what it is, but I'm confused and I hurt myself. Um, John Cena has leftovers. I figured John Cena was the kind of person who wouldn't eat all of his food. Um, turns out we're both paralyzed and can't do anything this round, but he still gets some damage on me because I was confused. Oh well. Ekans used Trick or Treat and, uh, you're about to be Rotten Egg Don, is what happened. I guess I'm about to be Rotten Egg Don. That is weird. What do I use next? I don't even know what I did next. I guess I snapped out of my confusion, which is all that matters. Oh yeah, I finished him with Dynamic Punch, because I figured, like, okay, well, it's not very effective, but I, he only has a little bit of health left anyway. Let me just knock him out right quick. Right quick, indeed. Algem, if I said that right, LGM, LEGM, it doesn't matter. I ultimate super hyper mega awesome beam destroyer of worlds in, so it doesn't matter. It's super effective against everything, and it just fucks people up. Straight up destroyed y'all. This was a really fun battle. Ao, Neho, XX. 
I know I butchered your name. I know I did. I'm sorry. But I don't know XX. I don't know XX. I I don't know, man. But it was one good battle. We were both unprepared for whatever was gonna happen, and it was it was ridiculous. But man, it was so weird. I've never done a battle like this where I didn't use one of my own teams, so it's a little strange to try and use a team that somebody else made. I don't know. It's just because I'm not familiar with it, I suppose. I got Aqua Ring on the Binet at the moment because of uh, Trick or Treat, but it. I don't. I don't know, man. It doesn't seem to be doing anything for me. Toilet paper missile attack? That's ridiculous. That is just silly. Oh my goodness. Uh, toilet paper missile attack. Who comes up with this stuff? I don't know if it was Smogon or Nintendo, but whoever it was is a jokester. And I know whoever made this team and named Machamp John Cena. I, I hope you know, if you're watching this and you named that Machamp John Cena, you're going to hell. You are. That's all. Um... Alright, so Crocodile is using Trick or Treat. You see that? Yum Chocolate. He just healed my Kabutops with some Yum Chocolate. That's my jam right there. I don't even like chocolate, but he healed me. I got him good. Alright, so now he sends out a Tangela, which is my absolute weakness. He, he should kill me, but I got that Trick or Treat in on him first, and I Pumpkin Bombed him. Tangela fainted. And unfortunately, I'll never know what his last Pokemon was, because he forfeited. But, it was a good battle, my friend. GG, GFG, mate. Uh, so, yeah, that was my first attempt at an OM of the month match. Seasonal spoopy party right there for you guys. No Fear Frogadier signing out. And, uh, stay golden, Ponyta.